I literally just woke up. Like, why I look like this? Congratulations. We are pleased to be extended offer of acceptance. I got into middle school. Oh my God. We have been keeping this a secret for a long, long time, but I secretly applied to a dental school in Tampa, which is right next to Josh's spring training site. Literally, is so many reasons why this is the better school for me, but I'm going to go get Josh's reaction. Like, I literally woke up literally 10 minutes ago. Probably not even so that's why I look like this, but he just hopped in the shower and is about to leave to go hit, so let's get his reaction. Yo, I'm so excited. We're literally about to leave for Tampa for the end of this month, and now, oh my god, I get your breath. Now, we're like gonna be able to buy a house there and like have a home and like move all of our wedding presents. And, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let's go get his reaction first and then we'll explain it all. Oh, oh my god. I'm so shaking. <laughs> Josh, are you dressed? Huh? Are you dressed? No. Get dressed. Cause I'm doing a funny video. Are you dressed? No. Hurry up! I just got out of the shower. <laughs> Get dressed. Tell me when you're coming. Josh? Claire. Well, it's like a time sensitive thing. Huh? It's time sensitive. I'm in Carolyn's room. What am I doing? I'm in Carolyn's room. Can I come? Yeah. I got into dental school. Which one? <laughs> Tampa! <laughs> Are you serious? I swear. I read the whole email this time. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Are you serious? I swear to God. This isn't a friend. No, it's it's real. It's real. That's why when I woke up, I was like about to die because I read it. And it you were saying it said, you were gonna prank your parents. Are you pranking? No, them? I swear. I swear, I swear Kardashian's Bible. Yes. Let's buy a house. Let's buy a house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Look, read the email. Read the email. Oh read the email. My God. <laughs> I'm gonna be a dentist. I want to see it. My parents are still sleeping. Yes. Let's move right now. Let's move. Let's go right now. <laughs> Look, it says congratulations this time. Congratulations. We are pleased to extend an offer of acceptance. Did you read the whole thing? I read the whole thing. You'll be receiving your formal acceptance letter within the next week to complete this offer. Deadline of April 2nd. <laughs> We have a plan. We have one plan. Oh, I love you. <laughs> oh my God, could you not see us the whole time? Oh, my, well, we have to explain everything to them because they have no idea about Tampa. Okay, so now we're going to explain everything. So December 15th, when decision day was, which we told all of y'all, and y'all didn't hear anything, I got waitlisted from LSU. And when she got waitlisted, she read the email. Can you hold it? She like read the email and she was like, it said, what did it say? It said, congrats, 
Come on, let's just sit on the ground. Sorry, I, I literally can't function right now. It, yeah, okay. It, like, In my it was sense, like, it was confusing. It was basically saying like, congratulations. And she was like, yeah, like freaking out. And it was like, congratulations on being waitlisted. Yeah. So, so we're like, we, were, we were vlogging it because we 100% thought I was getting we it. We might have to put that in. We, we, can, we can put it in at the beginning of the end. We were vlogging it. My little sister came over. My parents were out of town, so we were FaceTiming them. We were FaceTiming my mama. We were FaceTiming my sister who lives in Houston now. Like, the whole world. We were, I, mean, I was expecting her to get in, too, like, no doubt. Last time that I applied, I met with the dean after. Or I, like, told him, like, what, or asked him what I needed to do to, like, better my chances of next year. And he said, only work at your acceptance school. Sorry, we got cut off. So... I thought that I only needed, or the dean told me that I needed to boost my DAT score, which I got a 19 last time, which is average, kind of below no, average. your first time you got a 19. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. So like, I knew it wasn't gonna work. I was just trying to get like the feel of like how applying works. So I took my test the morning he proposed, which if you don't know the whole story, that's <laughs> vlog number one. And I got a 21, so I went up two points. I have a very good GPA. Like, did all my hours, like, it just, we all thought it was, like, I thought it was, like, a lot. In. Yeah, I thought, like, I thought it was, like, a lot. And like, then so we the go The dean to, was emailing me back, like, smiley faces <laughs> and, like, I just. We go, it was, like, December 15th. We wake up, like, she's stressed or whatever. And I'm, like, what is she doing? She's going to get but in. I really wasn't, I feel like I wasn't nervous, which. Oh, yeah, she was. And so, like, wait, 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 let me talk, let me talk. Okay, sorry, sorry. And so, I'm so excited. And, uh, and so she opens the email, like, December 15th, and she's, like. She just reads like the first word and she's like, yes. And so Start we're crying. all like, yes. Start crying. She got in. So everyone on FaceTime is as well freaking out because I'm freaking out. And he is only. And then like I was reading the rest one. of it and I was like, oh no. And so I saw and no, I was like, you Claire, kept saying, yeah. I was like, Claire, you need to like. Keep reading. Keep reading. Like, all I remember from that yeah, day is like, Josh keep reading it. Claire, keep like, reading. Like this is kind of weird. And she kept writing and it was just like heartbreak. I was like, oh my gosh. Because like we were so high and it's an so email? low. About you being waitlisted and it starts congratulations. But, no, you know anyone for high schools, colleges, grad schools, dental schools, med schools, they're looking for the word <laughs> yeah, congratulations. So was, in my defense. It was definitely pretty, it was I think that's wording. what made me even more upset than being waitlisted because like I got my hopes up uh, even more and then. All right, let's tell them about okay, now. So we got Corona, like two weeks before Christmas oh yeah or like it our last day was like the day after Christmas and we're like by ourselves us two and it was like right and it was right after I found out that I had gotten waitlisted yeah it was just a really bad week I, but it was like <laughs> he had at the it. end of the day it was just like it was like I don't know if you're a Christian or whatever but it was like everything happens for a reason like she I'm, didn't get accepted into <laughs> LSU and I guess this kind of moves forward to like where we're headed but I was like, what about like just applying to Florida? Cause like that's where where I head like to spring training every year is to Florida. And I was like, what about applying somewhere to Tampa? Like if you get in, we can move there for a few years. And I'm thinking that is like no way gonna happen because we've are, for LSU. I've already like si I submitted my application in November. Or no, that was a deadline. I submitted it yeah. in the summer. I took my test February. Like I was just like yeah, and she, so far past that point that I was like, there's no way. And she was like, that anything's available. Like deadlines like, are, sh are closed. Yeah, she was looking up schools, and it was like, uh, there's one in Bradenton, Florida, that's still accepted. I'm like, are you kidding me? That's like, right outside. 45 minutes away from like where I have to work at. And like, so closer just like, in New Orleans, everything was falling into place, whatever. Well, because let's tell them why. So it was in Florida. We would be able to live together six months versus I think four months out of the year if I went to New Orleans because we would yeah. do spring training together and he would uh come live with me in the off season so like check check that's a huge plus you know like our main thing is like I'm you know, so I know <laughs> and then this school um it's two years I mean y'all probably hear this by this point but it's two years of like classes and two years of full clinicals so, like you get like your feet wet so much more in the school um what was it Longer Christmas break and stuff. There's a Christmas break, so we'd the, be able to go big, home and like the visit biggest, our families yeah. and stuff. Whereas like LSU, I think it was like the biggest maybe. reason we wanted to go for her to go to Tampa though is because like usually like on a regular year without COVID, I have to leave probably around like sometime in January, and so instead of leaving her in January, now we get January, February, March together in Florida, 
unless if I get traded, which would be devastating. <laughs> but, but I just feel like it's newly but it's just, weds. It's, a newly good, weds, it's this finally was good like, to get like some confirmation. But anyway, so like we didn't have like any plans. Like I thought it was gonna be accepted in a school at that point. We thought we were gonna know about spring training at that point. We thought we were gonna have a house at this point. As you can see, if you don't know about this situation, the pink room, that's also the last vlog. There were just so many things that we thought we were gonna know and plan and we didn't. And this is just a main one. Yeah, like, this is like the plan for like our next I four years. I did not expect you to do that. <laughs> I thought she was just making some like and TikTok. I've been trying, no, I've been trying to say like, we need a vlog this weekend, we need a vlog this weekend, and we don't. I know, I know. Oh my God, should we call your, what should we do? We should gotta we, tell your parents. Should we go wake them up? Yeah, should we get their reaction? Should we go wake them up? Your, your dad's up. No, right. where's, should we look at my mom? She's gonna kill me if I get her on camera. It'll be dark. So what? It's okay. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, so I'm not walking in there. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So my parents are home right now because they're going skiing next weekend, so they came home to pack up. My mom's still sleeping. Okay, come on. She's leaving you, machine. Mama. <laughs> Are you happy or sad she's gonna be leaving? <laughs> Dad! I don't know you got Dad's not here. No, he's I think he's in the in the front. Alright, we're going to tell Claire's dad. prank this time or a miscommunication but I got into dental school <laughs> no Tampa I keep calling it Tampa it's Bradenton yes we're about to go over to mama and papa's and bombard them no, I'm. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this one's this one's Tampa. <laughs> Tampa. Okay, so today is March 19th. Finding out that I'm finally getting accepted into dental school, but this next clip that we're going to show y'all is from December 15th, when I thought. I got into the most school. awkward <laughs> day of my life. And it was the day I found out I had COVID, so just a terrible day. But it is the day that brought us to today. Yeah, so make sure you guys watch it. Have to be thankful for it. I know I am. So <laughs> here y'all go. Wait, is that good? What? Now you're scaring me. What's alternate designation? Breathing. 
Oh my god, I didn't get in. What? All right, so that video is probably a little. Make me cringe. It makes her cringe. It's it's a little weird to watch. Just like we were expecting such good news, and then we got it, and then we were like here, and then Claire's like. Y'all oh, didn't see the part it. where I started crying. And oh yeah, it was like, a long. We had to cut a little bit out of it. That but video was like twenty minutes long. But. That's like a perfect example though of just like everything happens for a reason. Whatever timing is is everything. Just control what you can control. I thought it was like a perfect example of us just like. Man, we, she didn't get what she wanted, but then in the end, it ended up working out even better for us. And I just, it's, it's awesome. And it's crazy how you plan your life a certain way, because you know, I, I mean, I mean, I'm a planner in life, and then it happens a total different way. <laughs> but you're so thankful that it did happen that way. Yeah, and it gives it's you good like, opportunities. Yeah, if there's one thing that we've learned this past year, from all the way back to last February, February 2020, is that. You gotta go with the flow. <laughs> yeah, you gotta roll with the punches. Life throws some crazy curveballs, but it works out in and the she's end. She's gonna be a dentist. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Doctor, and I officially changed my name, so I am going to be Doctor Smith. Doctor Smith. But to be um, a cool Doctor Smith, because there's probably lots of Doctor Smith. I'm be Doctor Koo Smith. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thank y'all. We're so excited. Next stop, Florida, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.